Honestly, you have plenty of courage, I am sure, answered Oz. All you need is confidence in yourself. There is no living thing that is not afraid when it faces danger. The true courage is in facing danger when you are afraid, and that kind of courage you have in plenty. Perhaps I have, but I'm scared just the same, said the lion. I shall really be very unhappy unless you give me the sort of courage that makes one forget he is afraid. Very well, I will give you that sort of courage tomorrow, replied Oz. How about my heart? asked the tin woodman. Why, as for that, answered Oz, I think you are wrong to want a heart. It makes most people unhappy. If you only knew it, you are in luck not to have a heart. That must be a matter of opinion, said the tin woodman. For my part, I will bear all the unhappiness without a murmur, if you will give me the heart. Very well, answered Oz meekly. Come to me tomorrow, and you shall have a heart. I have played wizard for so many years that I may as well continue the part a little longer. And now, said Dorothy, how am I to get back to Kansas? We shall have to think about that, replied the little man. Give me two or three days to consider the matter, and I'll try to find a way to carry you over the desert. In the meantime, you shall all be treated as my guest, and while you live in the palace, my people will wait upon you and obey your slightest wish. There is only one thing I ask in return for my help, such as it is. You must keep my secret and tell no one I am a humbug. They agreed to say nothing of what they had learned and went back to their rooms in high spirits. Even Dorothy had hoped that the great and terrible humbug, as she called him, would find a way to send her back to Kansas, and if he did, she was willing to forgive him everything.